Welcome to Compare Data uh, session getting started. In this session we'll go over the basic functionality of the application. After you install the application, the, uh, the first time you start it, uh, the application creates its embedded repository and connects to it, and which is by default the Firebird database. The application requires a repository uh, to store its comparison settings and uh, comparison uh, configuration. And um, the, the, uh, the repository is similar to an application any file, except that it is hosted on a relational database. And by default, the Firebird database is used for the application repository. We could check here that the application created an embedded repository data source and it is tagged with the word repository, meaning that it is currently connected as the application repository. You only need one repository for the application, no matter how many data sources or different databases you connect to. So you, you, you don't need to change the, re the embedded repository. Um, unless in the future at some point you outgrow it and you could uh, view the um, application help topic uh, the repository help topic for more information about the repository and moving it to another database um, management system if necessary. Um, the first thing you need after verifying the connected to the application repository is that you want to compare the data of two uh, tables. You need to create a data source for each side of the comparison and that's typically two data sources. Um, to create the data source you would need to new and then the ODBC data source. I have already some data sources set up here and the way to set up ODBC data sources you use Windows Control Panel or you could use the ODBC admin here if I wanted to create a Microsoft SQL Server for example um, data source I would uh, choose its driver here SQL, SQL native client for 2005 and then I would enter the information and go through the dialog through the wizard to create the ODBC data source and similarly if I needed to create a Sybase uh, data source, I would do the same thing. And after I created both of these, I come back here and I select them um, and create the application data source, which I already did, uh, created here. So here is the Microsoft SQL Server that I created. As you can see, it maps to an ODBC data source. Login ID and password are, are blank because the ODBC data source is set up using a Windows authentication and that uses your Windows login ID to, uh, for the connection so I don't, you don't need to enter password or login here in this data source. Um, for the Sybase side uh, it uses um, Sybase uh, server, SQL Server Enterprise so it requires authentication so you need to enter your login ID and password as necessary. Um, and when you uh, set up the data source and hit OK, it will connect to the data source and verify that it is able to connect to that data source. I'll connect here. OK. Let's see, I connected to both and I'm able to connect to both of them. Uh, so I have the data sources and I need to now do the data comparison. Um, so I would need to add a new DUS comparison. I select my first data source and I select my second data source. You can these could be the same data so source if you want. If you want, for example, compare tables belonging to different schemas that are on the, on the same server, for example. But in this instance, um, we are on different data sources. Uh, there are some issues with the uh, Sybase uh, ODC driver and I get a lot of uh, warnings here which I can safely ignore for purposes of comparing data. Um, the um, Sybase driver, I'm using the latest version, it still has some issues uh, but they're, uh, for comparing data should work with no problem. Um, after I added the comparison, it the uh, it automatically opened. I could close it if I want to, and you can see I'm not connected now to either one of these. Uh, but I could when I open it, I'm connected to both of them. And here, normally you would have automatically I have a tables and view comparisons. Um, 
but because of the uh, Sybase driver, these are not getting added, so I have to add them manually. So I added tables, view comparison, and um, I don't want views and Microsoft SQL Server, and this is the correct um, owner, this is the correct owner, so I'm all set here, and it um, for the for this um, comparison, the table name is used as the comparison key. Uh, you could use something else, but normally you wouldn't want that. Uh, so I could see that um, the databases are from different, which is okay. Um, I can ignore that. So these are tables that are the same with the same name. You can see the table column has a different background color because it has the uh, used as the comparison key column. Um, these are new on um, SQL Server side. These are new on Sybase side, which I am fine. There are system tables. These are system tables. Okay, so now, um, so the results of this comparison are populated in the workspace, and I or the uh, the new one has items that are on side one, but they're not on side two. They don't have a counterpart on side two, uh, and the same thing with the um, with the new two. Uh, in this case. I do want to compare a table that has changed names between the two uh, data sources. Um, um, on, the, uh, on the on the Microsoft SQL Server side, it's the table name is test name one. On the Sybase, it's test name two. But I want to compare the data of these two tables, which um, that are new one and new two. So I want to I want to map these two tables. So I select one here. And I select the other the, the counterpart by holding down the control key while I click on the table name. And now I can add them here. I can add the table here. So I added a custom comparison here. And now I can compare the data of the of the of the tables that have different names. I get some warning messages. Uh, there are no comparison key. As you could see, there's no primary key in this table, and there's no unique index. Um, so what I need to do um, the right now the comparison it, it's already compared when I when I compare them, the data is retrieved and the rows are compared in the same order they're retrieved because there's no comparison key. So this one matches. Uh, in this case, column one is the com is the logical uh, key. And you can see this matches, but this one doesn't match uh, because um, I don't have a comparison key. So I'll add one. You can see I added one here. I get added here. Uh, it's you add it from the settings. These are a summary of all your column settings. And now, as uh, you recompare the data without you retrieving it, I don't have to retrieve it. I already the application already has all the data. I only need to uh, apply the new comparison key, and I compare it. And I could, you can see now the background color for column one has changed, and I see I have. One new row on side one, two new rows on side two, and one row that has a difference, has the same key, but has different values for the other columns. The other thing you notice in with this test table is that one of the columns has changed name, zip code, and here it's zip underscore code, and I this doesn't have a counterpart, so what I need to do, I want to match these. And now they're matched, and they get compared automatically when they're matched. This concludes session uh, one of getting 
of compared data are getting started, 